Hello there, in this video we're going to be learning about how to multiply a number by either one or two digits. So we're going to be using the vertical method. Let's get straight into it. Using the vertical method I need to rewrite the question. So I've got 358 times and then I'm going to put 3 right underneath the 8 because it's in my ones column. If I look at it like this, I've got my my ones, my tens, my hundreds. So I need to make sure that I line it up in the right place value. In multiplication, it's not as important as addition and subtraction. So if my three was magically somehow over here, I still can solve the question. But when we get larger numbers, it's nice to keep neat and tidy. So times three, let's begin. We always start with the one on the bottom right hand corner. So we've got three times and then the top right hand corner, eight. So three times eight. If you don't know that off by heart, remember we can skip count by three. So you're counting by three. So three plus three plus three plus three until we get to eight fingers. So if you count with me out loud, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, then three more me 24. So three times eight is 24. So if my answer is 24, I'm gonna put this four, which is my ones, down here in my ones column. And my two, representing the 20, is going to go in up here where my tens are. All right. So now I start again, the bottom right hand corner, so three times Five. So three times five is 15. So three, six, nine, 12, 15. Or I can count by fives, five, 10, 15. And then I add my remainder. So 15 plus two is 17. So I put my seven down here, because technically, if I'm looking at place value, this is actually 50 times three, not five times three. So now that's technically my tens are going into my tens uh, and then my hundreds are going into my hundreds so if you don't understand what I just said then well, I've got this right here so it's 58 I've already done eight so it's just 50 times three my answer was 170 really but I got rid of that zero in my mouth and I said three times five so that's how the place value works anyway if that was confusing for you don't worry about it, it's not important, you don't need to know. So now it's the last one, three times three, and that is nine, or if you didn't know, three, six, nine, and then add my remainder is 10. There's no numbers to put into my place value here, so I'm just gonna write 10 at the bottom, so my answer is 1,074. It's always helpful to quickly estimate, so I wanna say, hmm, Roughly is my estimation sign. Um, 358 is close enough. If I round it up to the nearest 100, it's nearest to 400. If I added you know, 42 to it. Um, and 400 times 3, well, 3 times 4 is 12. And then add my two zeros, so I've got 1,200. 1,200 is close to 1,700, sorry, 1,074. So that's probably correct. Question two, well, if you didn't understand what I just did then with the um, 1,000, sorry, 400 times three, here's how you can do it. So instead of multiplying it vertically, if I'm multiplying by a, dub, a, a double digit that has a two at the end, um, what I can do is I can multiply, sorry, what did I just say then? <laughs> Rewind. I've got 567, I'm multiplying it by 20. One strategy is doing it vertically, so I've got 567 times 20, and I can do it exactly like I did above, but it's gonna get tricky when I get to this zero. Um, so I'm gonna show you two methods. One method is let's just forget about the zero and just do times by two, and then we can just tack on the zero at the end. Um, next question, I'll show you what to do if it's not so easy. So I can't do that if it's not a zero. If it's if it was 21, let's say, I, I couldn't just cross off the one. So two times seven 
is 14. 2 times 6, and I'm just doubling the number by the way, is 12 plus 1 is 13. 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1 is 11. So now my answer is 1,134. And then I need to put the zero back in. So I'm going to add a zero. Now it's 11,340. We're going to quickly guess, do a rough estimate, 567, close enough to 600 times 2 would be 1,200. So let's do 2 times 6 is 12, and add my two zeros. Um, hold on a second. So 1,200. Oh, sorry, and I forgot this zero here, so I have to one more zero, 12,000. That makes more sense. Mate, making lots of mistakes this video. All right, this is our final question as the example. So I've got 629 times 34. So this is where it gets a little bit more tricky. So I've got four times nine, I can't just cross off the four. So four times nine is 36 might be helpful for you to have a times table chart in front of you. So 36, I put my six here, my three, my next uh, spot. Then I've got four times two, and that is eight. Eight plus three um, is 11. And I don't know what's going on with my silly computer right now. Come on, computer. Hello. Okay, my computer's working again. So I had four times two was eight plus three is 11. So I've got one here, one here, great. Then I've got four times six. So again, I could count by fours, count by sixes. Let's count by fours. I'll get to six fingers. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, plus my one remainder is 25. There's nothing here to, put, uh, to regroup. So I'm just gonna write 25. Now here's where most people make the mistake. So I finished my four. So what I can do is I cross it off because it's in my ones column. I need to put in one zero. Now start again, because remember at the start of the video, I said technically we're multiplying it. And if I was to multiplying, you know, let's say three times six was well actually three times 600 because of the place value. And because of where the three is, it's actually 30 times 600. So instead of me having to say 30 times nine, 30 times two, 30 times six, I'd rather say three times nine, three times two, three times six. So that's why I've put the zero in here. So now instead of having to work out my 30 times tables, I'm just doing my three times tables. That's the reason why we put in the zeros. So in another video, I'll, I'm sure I'll talk to you about what happens if we're, we've got another number, let's say it's three digits. Well then when I cross off the three, it's gonna be two zeros down here because I've crossed off a 10. Anyway, don't want to confuse you. Let's go. We've got three times nine is 27. Then three times two is six plus two is eight. Three times six is 18. Uh, no remainder. There's no regrouping. When I have finished with all of the numbers, because I've got two rows here, I actually have to add them up. So I've got six plus zero is six, one plus seven is eight, five and eight is 13, two and eight is 10 plus one is 11. So my answer is 11,386. Final step, quickly do a, an estimate. So 600 roughly times by about 30. So six times three is 18 and then plus the one, two, three zeros. I've got 18,000, my answer is 11,000. That's close enough, at least it's both in the tens of thousands. So I hope that you've learned something new today. All the best with your work.